According to ESPN's Adam Schefter, the Eagles will indeed be parting ways with veteran linebacker Nigel Braddon. The 30-year-old was in a tricky spot this offseason. The Eagles signed him to a shiny new contract after winning Super Bowl 52, keeping him on the team until 2022. The catch, however, was that there will be a 2020 option for the team. If they decline it, he's a free agent, and if they pick it up, he costs $9.7 million. The Eagles opted to save money this time around. But what does this mean for the team, the position and the salary cap moving forward? My name is Liam Jenkins. Here is everything you need to know about today's news. But before we get into it, congratulations on being drafted with the 21st overall pick. You watching this video right now are our shiny new wide receiver. If you're new to this channel, we're slinging you as much Eagles content as we can. And all you need to do is catch that deep pass in the subscribe end zone. Hit that big red button, subscribe to our channel and be a part of our our community. Nigel Braddon was a tackling machine early in his career, but strangely enough, he missed every seventh tackle he attempted in 2019, highlighting a glaring hole in this defense. Now, Braddon wasn't the only one to suffer from this weakness, but when you're paying 9.7 million for a player, you kind of have to account for it. He still rallied to 61 tackles in 12 games last year, along with an interception and five passes defense, but his play had steadily declined since he first joined the Eagles in 2016, and at this stage in his career, he he isn't worth that hefty price tag that was once on his shoulders. The team will save around 4.5 million in cap space, but the linebacker group is now extremely light on talent. Nate Gary, Alex Singleton and TJ Edwards headline a group of players still on the roster, while Camu Grugia Hill is a pending free agent. What's really interesting to note there though is that last name. Grugia Hill has been a perennial special teamer with the Eagles for quite some time and led the team in back-to-back -back years in special teams tackles before growing into a position primed for a defensive breakout in 2019. That ultimately wasn't to be. Injuries really ripped the carpet from under him and then there was the whole lying about a concussion situation, so his future is unknown. But the Eagles could very easily take that money saved from the cutting of Nigel Bradham and give that to Camu Grugia Hill on a new deal. Do not be surprised if that happens. KGA is a very fast outside linebacker, someone that can get sideline to sideline very quickly and has proven to be quite a menace around the catch point. He isn't the strongest tackler, but it's that speed that they often miss. The second they lost Michael Kendricks, it was a big worry that the team had lost that speed on the outside and that's what Grugia Hill does bring to the table hypothetically. It's still not ideal. Nate Gary has been okay. He's flashed some really nice plays and there have been some really worrying traits as well. And then behind him, you've got TJ Edwards who has got a really high upside, but still finding his footing in the NFL. And then it really is just a group of core special teamers. Alex Singleton and Duke Riley headline that group. Now, one possible scenario here is that the Eagles decide to cut Nigel Bradham, therefore voiding the option and starting a new contract entirely. He clearly isn't worth $9.7 million, but he may still have value to an Eagles team who he's been around since 2016 and a defensive coordinator who's known him even longer than that. Bradham is a clear fit for this defense in terms of being a run-stopping linebacker. He shoots gaps very well, it's in coverage where those lapses seem to happen, which is, of course, a huge area where Jordan Hicks used to compensate for over the middle. So maybe they do bring him back on a cheaper deal if the market isn't competitive. He's bound to be a commodity on the free agent market, but if it does begin to settle and he's still not signed, the Eagles could probably sneak in and take him for maybe a fraction of that price. However, on the inverse of that, the NFL draft carries a relatively strong linebacker group, but as of right now, the oldest on the roster would be 26-year-old Alex Singleton, who has only one full year of NFL experience under his belt. There is a clear need to not only rebuild the position, but to do so in the right way. And while drafting someone like a Patrick Queen or a Shaq Quarterman may be a great developmental option, they have to build through the draft, which means allowing those players to develop. So we're bound to see either a trade or a free agent prove-it contract, very similar to what the Eagles did with Patrick Robinson and LeGarrette Blunt back in 2017. Losing Nigel Bradham isn't the end of the world. Yes, it's scary because as of right now, your main linebacker is... Gary, but it means the Eagles have to physically pay attention to it, something they've really not done in a long, long time. In fact, their last relevant draft pick outside of Jordan Hicks would have been Michael Kendricks in the second round of the 2012 NFL draft. So one way or another, the Eagles have to stock up this position. Now, whether they do this through the draft, whether they do this through free agency or through trades, the best way to do it is to draft a talent that you like, a Patrick Queen, a Shaq Quarterman, and a Keem Davis Geither, whoever it may be. You 
have to draft a talent that you like and then let them just kind of ride and learn underneath. The same way Jordan Hicks did with D'Amico Ryans. The same way Nate Gary did with Nigel Bradham. You have to keep that trend continuing. So maybe you look to the free agent market. Maybe you trade for a veteran who's coming off a slightly poorer season. But either way, the Eagles have to address this position. And that's the best news we could hear. There's been so much skepticism about why Howie hasn't drafted a linebacker recently or why this position has just been allowed to disintegrate. Is it because this defense focuses so much on packages that run with five cornerbacks? We don't know. But now with such little depth and such little in the way of notable talent there, it's time for the Eagles to invest at the position and that can only mean good things. But what do you think, guys? Let me know with a comment down below. What do you feel about the Nigel Bradham situation? Who do you want as a replacement from myself, Liam Jenkins? Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I'll see you soon.